So what exactly is the catalyst proposal that you guys want to cover? The, the whole idea of midnight and bridging assets from Kadana over to it sounds really exciting. Yeah, well, as you know, um, everyone's excited for the launch of Midnight. It's being positioned as the first partner chain for, for Cardano. Um, and while there is, you know, some observability between the two chains as part of this partner chain framework, unfortunately, still in 2024, that doesn't mean that interoperability just works and that there is no um, kind of additional engineering tasks needed. So what we're proposing is to build an asset bridge connecting Midnight and Cardano so that users will be able to transfer assets between these two partner chains, similar to how we've done with Cardano and a variety of other layer ones. It sounds pretty straightforward and easy in a way. It, like technically when you think about it, it's pretty straightforward. Is there anything that you've guys done in the past that could have really helped speed up the development of this because i know midnight is built on polka dot technology and then you've guys integrated in polka dot and brought polka dot assets over to the Cardano ecosystem already is there any of that development that has been done previously can that be any of that be used with midnight yeah you know with these things it always sounds a lot easier than it is certainly we have experience with substrate um, with the polka dot integration but, you know, at Wenchain, especially when we're you know, going through the catalyst proposal, we want to give ourselves a little bit more of a challenge. So you know, all of our previous bridges, you know, we were doing it with multi-party computation. With Midnight, there's a few unique characteristics to it that will allow us to make a zero proof relayer. So rather than using multi-party computation, we're going to try to build this bridge that uses uh, zero knowledge proofs, basically. So a ZK bridge. So there's a few kind of brand new novel components that'll be included here. That means you need to have a ZK verifier on Cardano. You need a ZK verifier on Midnight. And then you need like a proof server off-chain component that actually generates the proofs. So, you know, this helps kind of increase the trustworthiness of the bridge or, you know, technically would reduce the trust necessary in it because you're relying on cryptographic proofs. So this is really very different from a lot of our other bridges. So with this zero knowledge proofs on the bridge, does this give a level of privacy for the people that are using the bridge as well? No. So there's a lot of advantages to these zero knowledge proofs, but we will not be designing the bridge such that it is um, privacy preserving. So similar to all of our other bridges, everything is out in the open. Everything will be on the blockchain explorer. So you'll be able to kind of view the transactions in real time. You know, we're not looking to uh, build a tornado cache or something like that between Cardano and Midnight. So even though they rely on zero knowledge proofs, they are not privacy preserving. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Now, how much are you guys asking for this particular proposal? Yep. So we estimated we probably needed about 300,000 US dollars to pull this off in terms of engineering. That actually exceeds the kind of cap for the catalyst. So we have it in at the 500,000 ADA, but all things considered, we think this is actually pretty good value then for the Cardano community because Wenchain will just subsidize the, the difference. Okay. That sounds good. And how long will it take to deliver this uh, type of project? It's uh, a lot of brand new engineering here. Sure. We, we've given ourselves um, 12 months on the catalyst. The primary reason for that, though, is because the Midnight Mainnet hasn't launched. And so what we are promising to, to deliver is a bridge on Mainnet. So that will be the biggest driver. Um, in terms of kind of hard engineering, you know, we'd probably do it in about um, half that time. We've also kind of put in a few fail safes to make sure that the Cardano community gets a bridge out of this. So, you know, ZK bridges are still... You know, it's very new technology and, you know, people hear ZK and they, you know, their imaginations run wild. It's not a perfect technology that just immediately solves everything. So there will still be some obstacles that we'll have to solve along the way. But as part of the proposal, we've also included a fail safe that should K bridge prove to be not impossible, but just has too many trade-offs to make it really kind of a functional product at this time. We will also then deliver a uh, bridge between Cardano and Midnight that leverages our existing bridging technology, the the, the multi-party computation that we use to secure all the other bridges to Cardano. So no matter what, there will be a live token bridge between the two chains. All right. Brilliant. Really good to hear. I can't wait for Midnight to launch and having this uh, level of interoperability with a bridge and being able to move assets back and forth is also really appealing as well. Temujin, thank you for sharing everything around the Catalyst proposal. My pleasure. It's always uh, 
It's always a treat to speak with you, and uh, thanks everyone for listening.